I am the new armor piercing missile. I have made several others in the past. First, the Breacher missile, to which people said thicker armor would stop it, which led to the Brewer missile, to which people commented saying simply using furnaces and water, or even better, war log chests would stop it, which leads us to the tandem missile. As I said, it pierces immovable objects covered with water and war log chests, but a slight adjustment is necessary. This block here needs to be a sponge to pierce war log chests, otherwise it can be any movable block. So, I'm Generic Western Genius, and let's get straight to the demonstration. First, without the sponge on a wall of furnaces. So, you'll see we have the layer of furnaces here, with the water in front of it, and the stone behind it. And the reason that matters is that my other armor-piercing missiles relied on pistons to push or pull the armor, push through the armor, pull the armor out of the way, and then send the TNT through. Whereas this one, which we launched by updating that observer, will have a will create a small explosion in this area that will block the water, that cube will block the water, and that small explosion will make a hole for the secondary charge to go and unleash destruction on the target. So you see that it starts going, the secondary charge, it blows a small hole, and then the secondary charge can go through. And you see here, it did some good damage. And now this one is going to work the exact same way, using this um, cube or loop to block the water from flowing. But because the chests here are waterlogged, that means that there's water actually in the chest. So even if you block it off, so let's say using a block here, when you block it off, like so, this, that chest still has water in it because um, it's waterlogged. Now, I just messed everything up, so give me one second. Okay, and now that it's fixed up, we'll just see this one working. And you'll see that the when the sponge makes contact, it'll clear out all those chests of their waterlog. And then it'll blow up a small hole. And then it'll make room for our secondary charge to come through and again, blow it up. Okay, so to build it, you'll need 46 slime blocks, one powered rail, one regular rail, one redstone block, three pistons, five sticky pistons, one block of TNT, nine observers, and then if you're making the version with a sponge, you will need two building blocks and one block of sponge. And if you're building it without the sponge, you'll need just three building blocks. And then of course, you'll need some building blocks to tower up if you're building in survival. And then for the, for the, for the front bit of the missile, the charge that blows the hole through the armor, you will need five TNT minecarts. And then for the secondary charge, you will need as many TNT minecarts as you want. The bigger, the better the explosion is. I'd recommend 25 to 100. Okay, so to the begin building it, we're going to start by piling up. I recommend you make it hit roughly the middle of the target so you maximize the damage. And then we're going to break just the block away so we can start. And we're going to make the missile be going that way, the way I'm facing. So we're going to be starting off by having an observer facing downwards with a piston behind it, facing like that. And then we'll have another observer like this. And then we're just going to be placing slime here, sticky piston here, and then slime on the rest of it. Then what we're going to do is place an observer here facing downwards, so not there, there, with another piston. And then we're going to have an observer like this. Then we're going to be placing a temporary block here. We're going to have a slime block here. We can break the temporary block with two slime blocks. We have another block here. Block this side up, around. And then this is where you will decide if you're building the armor pierce, the warlog version, or just the regular version. So if you want the warlock version, you place a sponge, or just the regular version, you place a building block. So that's your choice for whatever you need. Then here, we're just going to place a regular rail, and then um, you just place this in now, it doesn't really matter, but you can be placing, um, you place your five um, TNT minecarts there, so that's five. And then we place our TNT in the back there. So that's going to be our main detonation, and that's what's going to cause the hole for the rest of it to come through. Now we have to build the secondary charge part of it, which also we can break that. And what that what that's going to be is we're going to be placing a block here, three slime blocks here, an observer, a sticky piston, and then we're going to be placing um, nine slime blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're going to be placing an observer facing in into this block. So we we'll just place two blocks down and like that. And then we have another sticky piston there. 
And now we're going to place 10 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we're going to do the same thing. And then our sticky piston. And this time we're going to be placing 7 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then on the second to last block, we're going to be placing our powered rail. Our last block here, we're going to be placing just a regular building block. We're going to be doing the same thing with the, that we did with the observer onto this block, into that block. We're going to be placing another sticky piston here with two blocks of slime, two more, and then a block up. And then we're going to have our observer here, a sticky piston here, and then a block of redstone here. And then what that, what that is going to do is that when it stops, um, because this won't be compressed, the redstone block will end up here. And it'll power that rail, letting our secondary charge go. So then all you have to do is put as much TNT micros as you want there. And then you're good to fire it. So let's just test it and make sure it works. So I made some mini target here to test on, and we'll just update the observer. And yeah, it seems to be working perfectly. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you decide to build this in your own world and use it in your Minecraft battles. But yeah, I've been Generic Resident Genius, and I'll see you in the next video.